As a pastor, you're fearful that a knock's going to come at your door. You're going to have to say, sorry, I can't help you. Hi, I'm Sherry Finnessy, Executive Director for Love in the Name of Christ, Love, Inc. One of the first things I tell everybody about our ministry is that this is not an organization, it's a movement of God. We started out in about 2002 with 11 churches that wanted to work together to help people in need instead of each one trying to do their own thing and being overwhelmed because the needs were so great. Within about three or four years, we now have over 190 churches that are working together to help people in need. Love Inc. is a way churches can unite as the body of Christ and transform lives. Love Inc. begins with the greatest untapped resource the people in the pews who feel their talents could not be used. To meet people's needs, we pool the resources of various churches to accomplish much more than you could on your own. You efficiently match up needs with the right resources and people. Your church members experience direct ministry in concrete, meaningful ways. As church members see how God is using them to touch others' lives, they are transformed. Love Inc. is a wonderful organization. Come alongside the churches and encourage them to be the ones filling those needs, empowering the churches uh, to fill those needs. It's an amazing thing to see. It is an amazing opportunity to be a part of. We can do this. We can be a part of this community and serve throughout Pierce County, uh, throughout Tacoma, uh, Gig Harbor, wherever we are located and just be a part of our community. Um, and, and seeing those churches transform from very inwardly focused churches to churches that are passionate about finding needs and meeting those needs, it's a huge blessing. Every week the phone rings at Lake Taps and there's someone on the other end who expresses a, a need they have. And at Lake Taps, our people are very compassionate. They want to help. And we appreciate having a place where we can call and they will provide some screening and make sure that the need is legitimate. It's also a blessing to be able to partner with other churches in this area. Uh, one church can't do it all, but together we can make a big difference for the kingdom of God. Love Inc. also allows some of our people opportunity to use their gifts. And uh, from time to time, Love Inc. will call and tell us about a need in the area and there's someone in our church who is able to, to meet that need. Not long ago we had a man who works on cars and someone had a, a broken down vehicle, needed help. He was able to go and, and uh, help them with that, that project and blessed him and blessed them as well. My name's Carrie and I have come to volunteer at Love Inc. for a year and I have learned a better way to help people in our community and the surrounding community. It's opened my eyes to the needs that are out there. I first originally thought that maybe needs were mostly um, like food banks or help with utilities, but even just seeing that people needed just a friendly person to talk to and just even venting sometimes when life gets really hard and they have nowhere else to turn, that they have no family to talk to, that we're even here just for that. So it's really opened my eyes to all the different needs that are out there and, and the type of people that are in need. We decided to partner with Ministries, Love Inc. being one of them, that are doing great work in the community to meet the practical needs that we as one congregation can't meet but that the body of Christ can meet together. We know that God meets the needs in the community, and He does it through His people, and Love Inc. has provided a, a way for the people to come together, meet the needs that this community has. Hi, I'm Elsa Woodard. I'm from Christ Episcopal Church in Puyallup. I run my church office, and I get dozens of calls for people needing help. Most of them don't know where to go, they don't know what resources are available, and they literally sit down with a phone book and call every church in the phone book. It's wonderful to have an organization like Love in the Name of Christ, because when I refer a client to them, I know that from the person that does their intake to the person who does their follow-up call, that they will be treated with dignity and respect 
that their case will be handled with loving care. And whatever help that they need, hopefully they will be able to find through the resources that love in the name of Christ gives them. For several years, our church and we as a family have supported love in the name of Christ financially. And it makes me and the congregation feel good to know that the money that's given to outreach is given to the most people possible with the greatest need. As a one-person office, I am absolutely unable to verify people's needs and wants. But when I refer them to love in the name of Christ, that can be done. And that makes the congregation feel good knowing that their money is going to valid causes and to people that need it the most. So we are just very glad to be associated with them, to have whatever resources we have to be made available to people that need them. If you as a church aren't impacting your community, what are you doing? Uh, because we are called to be a light within our, our community. We are called to uh, step out of our comfort zones and serve people and love people um, as, as we ourselves have been loved. As a pastor, I know when people are coming to my door, they have a need. And I also know that I have an answer. Love Inc. is simple yet profound. All we're really doing is asking Christians to be who they say they are. Will you help us?